It's time for our Bible reading as I invite respectfully Elder Architect Anieti Opana to take the first and second Bible reading. Great is the Lord. Thy word is truth. Hallelujah. We shall have two quick short Bible readings this morning from Book of Colossians, read chapter 3, verses 23 to 24. We flip over to Romans chapter 12, read verse 8, and in particular, verse 8b. Two short Bible passages. I'm reading from the King James Version of the Scriptures. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 to 24. I read. Whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance for ye serve the Lord Christ. For ye serve the Lord Christ. Let's speak over to Romans chapter 12. And I will read verse 8. The particular note is on verse 8b. Romans chapter 12 and verse 8. Scripture says, or he that exhorted on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. B says, let him that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. Then the reading of our scriptures this morning. May the Lord add blessings thereof in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. To prepare our hearts for the message this morning, we invite once again the Mass Choir of Kwaibo Church 112 Mwaiba Road for their third rendition. All right, we skip to the next item on the order of service. We take the hymn for Simon. It pays to serve Jesus. peace and contentment in serving the Lord. It's on your bulletin if you have it and you can look through from the screen to sing. We take the first, second and fourth stanza. Let's be on our feet.
seated please hallelujah please let me passionately appeal to the head of the media units to please give me a competent person that will work with me smoothly to avoid any form of confusion in the process of sharing the word because most of the things that I'm going to say shall be displayed on screen. Please, that is my appeal. Church, hallelujah. Today is the last Sunday service of the second month of the year. Yeah, with all the amounts of joy and gladness in my heart to tell God thank you for keeping every one of us safe and as bringing us once again to gather at his feet so that we continually worship him as our savior i'm also being delighted in this very service today for the national conference of quite church not because this congregation is the best of the congregations of Waiwo Church, but it's a big honor done on us by the National Conference and the acceptance of the leadership of Boys Brigade Nigeria Waiwo Church Fellowship, choosing this place as a place for 2022 pre dedication service and thanksgiving. I say, may the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Before we get to some other item, I'd like to let us know that we are not going to take much of our time so that we may be able to do justice to some of the items that are yet undone. But I'm trusting God that the little moment we are going to share together, the word of God shall be profitable in our hearts and help us to be more effective in the areas of our callings in the future of God. I'd like to welcome and acknowledge the arrival of the General Superintendent and Chairman of Conference of Bible Church for joining us in this service today. May the name of the Lord be blessed in Jesus' name. If you want to be a good leader, join the girls brigade. If you want to be a good leader, join the girls brigade. We shall come back to that. Bless us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved of God, we read from two short scriptural passages. We read from Colossians chapter 3. From verse 23 to 24, and we read Romans chapter 20, Romans chapter 12, verse number 8. And we pick our text at first number Romans chapter 12, verse number 8. Be part. Romans chapter 12, verse number 8, be part. That says, if it is leadership, let him govern diligently. Let him govern diligently. So I'd like to title the topic for our discussion briefly. Be diligent in God's service. Be diligent in God's service. We are going to look at the topic in three brief dimensions. Number one, we spend a little time to interact with the word diligence. We talked about what service is all about. We moved down to see why diligence is very, very important in our lives as Christians, even in the service of God. We look at the areas to be diligent in the service of God. Beloved of God, when we are talking about diligence, diligence comes from one of the Greek words, 
Harus. Intelligence comes from the Greek word Harus. Harus simply means to pay attention. It means to be devoted. It means eagerness. It means careful effort. Consistency. And also determination. I'm trying to interact with the word diligence. Coming from the Greek word harus. It means to pay attention. It means to be devoted. It means eagerness. A full effort, consistency, and determination. So when we are talking about diligence as Christians, these are the things that are deeply involved. When Paul uses the word diligence, he simply wants Christians to know that once we are involved in the business of the Lord, we are not expected to do it anyhow. And so I don't always feel comfortable with some of the Christians that would love to say, No, no, no. When you say you should be left alone for you to serve God, do the business of God the way you wanted it to be, the way you wanted it to be done in your own perspective, you are not right. I am not right as well. Every business and everything done in the name of the Lord, in the business of the Lord, must be done with the spirit of diligence. We should be careful the way we are doing it. We don't do it the way our minds is telling us to do. If the services of the Lord is expected to be done, wanted it to be. God would have not given us the Bible. Prophet would have not given the people the instructions, even the apostles, even the pastors, men and women who are preaching the gospel today. So we can rightly say in summary of interacting with the word diligence, that diligence is the dedicated fervency that God called us to invest in each task that we perform. That is exactly. Diligence is the dedicated fervency that God calls us to invest in each task that we perform unto the Lord. As a member of the boys' cricket, girls' cricket, leadership, as a member in the church, as a pastor, as a deacon, as a chorister, in any dimension that God wanted us to serve him. This is exactly attitude the Lord wants us to put on in serving. First thing, the very best in the service of the Lord. Now, let us note two things in addition to what we have said so far. That diligence is an attitude that drive us to accomplish a mission successfully. Diligence is an attitude that drives us to accomplish a mission successfully. That is one of the things we need to know. Without diligence in anything that we do, I don't think that tangible results or success can be actualized, can be accomplished. So in 2022, as we are coming as a family, as we are coming as a fellowship, under this forum serving God, God wanted us to put on this attitude, if at all, the aim, the objectives of and girls' brigade to be accomplished, this attitude must be put on. This attitude must be put on. We need to work diligently. Everything that we do. Of course, you know the object of boys' brigade. 
the advancements of Christ's kingdom among boys and girls and that of promotion of that habits that has to do with obedience that has to do with self-control that has to do with self-respect those things that are expected of a true Christian it wouldn't be possible for us to be able in this generation that is like this for us to be able to advance the kingdom of God what does it mean really to advance the kingdom of God it simply means that anywhere in the heart of fellow boys in the heart of the fellow girls in the heart of the people anywhere the rule of Christ Jesus Christ is ruling in the heart and in the life of the people that is the establishment of the kingdom of God any life that Christ is in charge that is the assignments of Christ's kingdom among God and for men for us to be able in 2022 to accomplish that task we must be diligent in doing this of course you don't forget the importance and the explanation of what diligence is all about you must put in extra effort you must make a determination it is not something you sit down and you think that it will just happen like a magic it requires determination that's a form you must pay attention to what you are doing so do not think that because you know that this organization you know the origin and how boys and girls brigade came to existence that it carries the ecclesiastical and religious atmosphere and so I want every one of us to understand that before the objectives of Boys and Girls Brigade is accomplished, everybody, everybody, everybody must put on that attitude of diligence. You must be diligent in everything you do. You don't just do it casually. You don't just do it because it is a uniform organization. No. You must be diligent in everything that you do in any area of your calling we shall come back to that you must be diligent after all when we talk about service what do we mean by service service simply means that anything we are called to do that is the service somebody is called to serve as a chorister that is the service expected of you and is expected of a chorister called into that area to be diligent you don't do it anyhow the way you wanted it to be so for the objective of boys brigade and girls brigade to be accomplished to be actualized in Kwaibo church every member in the company that you find yourself in this fellowship the leadership must be ready to be diligent in everything that they must do so that the purpose will be accomplished number two i want you to know before we move from that particular point i want you to know also that for one to be able to be blessed one of the things you must do in your life to get god's blessing upon your life is to practice diligence one of the things you must do in your life not only in the religious life this diligence has to do with our total life our spiritual life and our material lives you must practice diligence for some of us why you fail exams in the school is not because you were not in the classes when a particular topic was treated the fact is that you were not diligent even when the explanation was done in the class a lot of people miss out with their businesses business it is not because something is attacking the business the problem if we want to look into will simply means lack of diligence in the way that your business is being managed so diligence is not only applicable in the things of god alone even in your religious life even in your social life and as everybody now so one of the things in whatsoever we do in the church is for us to practice that diligence to be diligent in everything that we do as a woman in the church in any area 
but you don't do it anyhow. So while a lot of people will stay in the church and would not see rapid blessings, while a lot of people will save God and they do not see tangible effect or result or rewards in their lives, is because that you don't practice diligence in the business of the Lord. And when I'm telling you, you are coming to the church because eh, eh, you are feeling they're coming to the church. You are singing in the choir because you are feeling they're singing in the choir. You don't know that that business is the business of God. And you must take it into consideration. You must allow your spirit and your soul to be involved in the process of discharging whatsoever responsibility that is given unto us. So if you want to be successful, if you want to be blessed in the business of God, not only in the business of God, please let us learn to be diligent in anything that we do. Church, praise the Lord. I studied the history of the people of Israel. There is nothing like secular in the practice of the people of Israel. There is nothing like sacred and there is nothing like uh, there is nothing like sacred and there is nothing like secular. If somebody is a farmer in Israel, he farmed in the name of the Lord. If he's a footballer, he does that in the name of the Lord. So there is no differences between serving in the society and serving here in the church. What I'm trying to say is that do not think that it is only when you are in the church before you will be able to fight, to press toward actualizing the objectives of Boys Brigade. Anywhere you find yourself, after all, promotion and extension on extending the kingdom of God, advancing the kingdom of God is in the society. So when you find yourself, even in school, anywhere you find yourself as a member of Boys and Girls Brigade, that particular place, your, ex, your ex, behavior and expectation, it seems to be as if you are sitting in the church. So there should be no differences in the mode of operation, the way you are behaving. It is when we are coming to then we know that, okay, we are in the church. Let us do it because it is the business of God. Let us do it in the ways of the Lord. We get out of this place, we behave anyhow. The objective of God's progress will never be accomplished. Advancement of Christ's kingdom among men. And to do what? Promotion of the habit of obedience, self respect, self discipline. Not only that, obedience also is involved. When we put on and we walk toward all these virtues that are expected of us, diligently, you don't have to relax. You need to make a determination before that can be accomplished. Church, praise the Lord. So one of the things, I don't because it is the business of God. Because you will never collect salary at the end of the service or at the end of anything that you do. You think no this year 2022 the lord want us to be diligent and you will see the blessing that will come out of it church praise the lord let me quickly explain point number two why is diligence so important in your life and in my life as people of god one because god is a diligence god that is exactly who he is he does his own things in order. When you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, this is the instruction in order for the people of Israel to know that God is a diligent God in everything that he does. And Moses put this up to the people of Israel. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his command, that carefully can be used to be diligently followed all its command i give you today and look at the blessings the lord your god will set you above her. so god is a god of diligence he does not do, do things the way he likes and i want to cite another example do you know why moses in numbers chapter 20 why moses did not enter the promised land when the people of israel complained unto moses Hey, we don't have water to drink hey, for two days and for three days there is no water for us to bath there is no water for our 
for our livestock and we are dying every day da, 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 da. and they complain unto the Lord and Moses went to the Lord and told the Lord look at these people that you brought out from Egypt they are complaining of lack of water and the Lord instructed Moses go you only strike the rocks the rock only once and the water will come out and because Moses was so forced was so pushed by the public opinion Moses said and the Lord said to Moses Moses you have dishonored me in the presence of these people to show that it is a God that believes because that is his essence when Moses acted contrary to the instruction of the Lord he was punished and that was why he did not experience nor enjoy the promised land and the Lord decided to kill him because his business was done outside of his own prescription diligence is one of the things that can bring blessing when we fail to be diligent in anything that we do we fail to be blessed by the Lord so we are looking forward to have the people that this church belongs unto you in some years to come you people will come and take over before that it is possible you must learn from today to be diligent in anything that you do that is exactly what we can see number one God is a God of diligence he is a diligence God number two diligence places both God and man a man on some of the promotions you see that people in Yagam Fun Kitu do. A soy study and more. In Namutumur Kusum Sifon. In Namporo Kusum Sifon. You see a did your work in a more. So, man, I'm poor. Many of us say, when you are diligent, somebody in anything that you do, even in the business of God, it pleases both God and man. I was saying the Miss Rabana. And because I was saying the Miss Rabana. This thing will make you prosperous in every way. When you are so diligent in everything that you do, whether in the business of God or in your own personal business, you will see that the resultant effects will be the blessings. You will be blessed. Because I remember it, when you read from Proverbs chapter 22 and verse number 29. Can we have it? Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29. Do you see a man? Okay, this one is in Ivy. Please, can I have it in King James to give me what I really wanted? Can you give me this one? Yes. Yes. She said, Thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before men. So that is one of the things. When you are diligent in anything that you do, the blessing is there. There is a good reward when I live a life of being diligent in anything that I do. You treat God's business with respect. You attach important to God's business. People are watching you. God is watching every one of us. The way you are dealing with the business of God in any area of the calling, I tell you that that is the area that your blessing will come. In every place of calling, the blessing is there. I want you to know when you are called as a deacon, as a deacon, as a pastor, as a chorister, I tell you the truth when you are so diligent in that area, you do it to invest in your spirit. That is where the blessing will come. But when you neglect that aspect and you do it the way you wanted it to be done, in your own perspective, the blessing will not come. And that is why you say a lot of people will pray. You are not diligent in your prayer life. The seriousness with the Lord, you are not diligent. Now for Nanam Pong, Unekagura and Japan Pong. You think that that business belongs to man? No. There is a reward when we are so diligent in everything that we do. I want to let us know finally that lack of diligence causes you to miss out of God's blessings and favor. I've already explained it. That is exactly. For example,
Oh, the noble family, boys and girls, Brigham Bible Church Fellowship. As you are here today, I want to believe that you know the reason why you are here. That we are here to recommit ourselves into the hands of the Lord for more effective and fruitful service unto humanity and the church as well. For us to be able to accomplish the purpose of our coming together, we must be diligent. As leaders in the company, you must be diligent. Don't take it for granted. Do not think that this is not the business of the Lord. This is the business of the Lord. And now finally, where are the areas that the Lord expected us to be diligent? Let me point out only two areas. Let me point out areas to be diligent. Number one, I want you to take note. You must be diligent in seeking God in everything that you do. Be diligent in seeking, in seeking God in everything that you do. Seek the Lord in everything. What is the text saying? Please, can I have the text? Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for man. So, go get boys brigade me as leaders, as a member of a synagogue in any company. Do not see it that when the program is outside the church and that one has to do with the world. And it, it is only when we are coming to church and perform these responsibilities that is when we should be serious as it the business of the Lord. In words, if at all the objectives of Boys and Girls Brigade is to be accomplished and for the advancements of Christ's kingdom among boys and girls and the society and for the promotion also of the habit of obedience in everything that you do when you are in school, seek the presence of God, seek God in everything that you do. In your office, seek God. I told people once upon a time in this congregation that most of the time we acted funny in a very funny way. Do we think that it is the Holy Spirit can only function when we come to church? And that is when we will be asking God, Holy Spirit, come and lead us. Holy Spirit, come and speak unto God. The Holy Spirit was not given unto us to function only in our religious life. The Holy Spirit was given unto us to function in all sphere of our life. Holistic functioning of the Holy Spirit. How many times we start the business, involve the Lord in that business. We are in school, involve the Lord in everything. If at all, the objective of Boys and Girls Brigade to be accomplished in everything that you do, according to Paul's instruction to the people of Colossians, he said, in whatever you do, you must understand, you seek the Lord. By so doing that, we are advancing the kingdom of God in the heart of men. You know that the society and the generation of Nyeribagadiyo, how will we be able to accomplish or to actualize the objectives of Boys Brigade? We must be seeking. what does righteousness simply means righteousness simply means for somebody to have the right standing with God number two it has to do with moral uprightness look at what is happening in the society look at you never see this if righteousness of life is lacking in the world, is lacking among men, is lacking among boys of a time, is lacking among girls of a time, and if at all who should be the people at not want to join the queue. Walk tirelessly. Take it as a point of duty. Make a determination to seek the righteousness of God. To single out. By so doing that, we will be able to advance the kingdom of God among boys, girls, there's people around us. That is exactly what the Lord wanted us to know. So my charge 
in the name of the Lord in 2022 as we are coming to give ourselves back to God again for effective services as boys and girls brigade fellowship in Bible church number one thing that will help us we must be diligent in everything that we do when we do that the good Lord will take us to a greater end and we will see the glory of the Lord manifesting radiating rapidly mightily gloriously even in this family I trust the good Lord to bless us and to help us to be more effective unto him in year 2022 in Jesus name can you make better amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Was anyone blessed by the sermon by our reverend pastor? All right. Uh, great is the Lord. Thy word is truth. Great is the Lord. Thy word is truth. All right. It's time to head to the rededication service of the Boys Brigade who found time to worship with us in Kwaibo Church, 112 Waiba Road. And I respectfully invite the chairman of conference, Kwaibo Church International, Reverend Ekpedeme Efama. Please, a round of applause for our chairman of conference. Keep clapping for him till he gets a please. Clap for the chairman of conference, Kwaibo Church International. Oh Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Mm, be thou forever my microphone, please. Oh, I 
the choir Igbo church in her 130-foot sitting approved the choir Igbo church brigade fellowship. And whereas today is the first dedication service of the choir Igbo church fellowships. We meet in the presence of God and of these witnesses to dedicate these ones before the Lord and unto the Lord after these few questions. But before we get into the dedication proper, I like to let us understand that when you were much younger, you had a youth organization to belong. Most of us joined the Girls' Guide, some the Girls' Brigade, some the Boys' Brigade, and some the Girls' the Boy Scouts. Man of War and all that. Naturally, youths who want to belong to some way. In recent days, the Boys' Brigade, the Boy Scout, the Man of War, the Royal Rangers, and the rest of them have been looked down as near inferior. That's why the youths, some of our children in primary and secondary school, have found somewhere else to belong. To our shame, all parents, if we had upheld the tenets of faith and the standards of the uniform organization as it were in the 80s and 70s and in the 90s, the Buganians, the Sea Dogs, the Kekites, and call them names. Go to someone say, "Me go to phobia." All the stupid things some of you have joined, and all the useless things some of the children out there have joined. If they were in the brigade, they wouldn't have been there. True or false? I say this to our shame, so that the parents and the church, the leadership of the church will arise after now to strengthen the courts of the brigade. The fellowship today, the one the Quebec Church approved was that of the boys' brigade and the girls' brigade. So we call it the brigade's fellowship. Let us try to strengthen the courts in the church and see how to depopulate the other organizations. Now they call them association or club. And now they are registered with the co sorry to mention some names. Now they are registered with the corporate face and they are as social as the other social things. Are we together? Until you go inside there, you won't believe the things that are inside there. Let me give you this one. A couple of years ago, they can stand as long as they can because they are soldiers. A couple of years ago, when I was a younger pastor, I was still a pastor, we used, to, we used to engage in some business, entertainment business, public address and all that. We had the opportunity of playing Valentine party for one of the several I mentioned. Let me not mention anybody's registration again, so I will not be sued to come. Are we there? I didn't say they are bad. I'm saying the brigade was there. We wouldn't have wanted to join those ones. When the brigade was there, we didn't think of those ones. True or false? We, we used to give the equipment for Valentine party after many years. But there was a particular year. They, they usually persuade me to join the party. But for no reason, I didn't have the persuasion in my spirit to join them in the party. I didn't know I was trading on very terrible grounds. This faithful year, I was persuaded to join them in the night party. I almost gave in. I wasn't too sure. But somehow, we didn't finish our... You know, the band people knows what they do. And terrible things that go wrong during connection. Uh, one or two things did not get in the right place. So I needed to take that thing there around 7, 8 or 9 in the night. Nobody give up. So we borrow get you work. We been get some music. We can ah, any minute. We too many do can come sound engineer. We see come and they diambo. So in the car, we can't hear you. 
what I saw in the night. The place I used to go through in the night. I had too many boundaries I could not trespass. But I was like, eh? Can you make a pocket to get bush A? I mean, a bush A. I can't understand because every time I understand, kids here, if on Menge, Rutokonam, Zegram, Yamus, and Namidi, and Ocross. Ya are called the Ku. That was the year we stopped with the We think it is just a club. But those who belong there know it is not just a club. But that's not what I came to preach today. I came to say, like the preacher sang, if you want your child to be a good leader, and I'm saying, boy. The boys' brigade, the girls' brigade. But before I say one or two other things, may I request that the executive of the brigade's fellowship will please present themselves forward on behalf of all of us who remain standing and take few questions that will represent oath of this oppression to be diligent in all they do. See, so you know, you know, you know, you know, see, my boy and Tom, we wouldn't do that one again before you don't, you know, 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 not asking the ones in front of me alone, I'm asking all of us. Do you affirm that you rely on the Lord Jesus Christ alone for salvation? Yes. Do you affirm that having received a call to the Brigade's Fellowship Ministry, you will always endeavor to be faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ, the great head of the church, and to render your services to him and not to men? Do you affirm that having been accepted as a member of the Brigade's Fellowship of Kwaibo Church, you will be loyal to this church and will do all in your power to ensure that the faith and practices of the Kwaibo Church and of its members are always in accordance with the teachings of the Word of God. Yes. Leaders and members of the Brigade's Fellowship, your affirmation has been made in the presence of God. And before this assembly of the Kwaibo Church at number 112 Wangeba Road, Uyo, I'd like you to go down while the church will rise as we pray for them. On to Jesus. On to Him I free. the young people and the youth in Kwaibo Church, shall we please pray that the Lord shall take over from them and shall use them to redeem other young men from wherever they have been before now. Shall we pray?
that we are sorry that we lost a good part of our church, the youth, because the church was not careful many years before now. Today we've seen our wrong. That's why the Brigade Fellowship was approved and inaugurated. Today we have our first dedication service that this ministry shall go for, shall scout for, shall do the evangelism among the young people and shall bring them here to belong. They have a place to belong. Not the fraternities, but this one here. Lord, please show us mercies. Forgive our past, but let grace, uncommon grace, be sufficient unto us. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, O oh God, that you bless the leadership of the Brigade Fellowship of Kwa Ibo Church, that you bless the entire Brigade Fellowship and grant to them the strength and the power to do exploits unimagined. We have a target, we have our imaginations. The Lord, if they can beat our imagination through grace. Para wa nyini sima yaki so sop ke kam kam motion para wa kam bendi o mana ndien ndi ang mo ya uti mo bok mo furu ya uti mo bok mo kronen ya uti mo bok mo sanga ndien ya 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 kwa bo church brigade fellowship we furu ndien ya ikontien seba imidi ang mo fu uti mo boys brigade ku bok mo fu ibo so ofo yon mo fu ya uti mo mengwe friend team friend kese go and prosper in this ministry may this ministry be fruitful in your hands and may you subdue other youth organizations around you the lord bless you and keep you the lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you the lord to the light of his standards upon you and grant you may his peace and favor now and forevermore amen, amen. while they rise and stay forward i'm afraid because the time is already against us like to little snappy Eh, back on the move and no more show you. But the young man young it is more. Eh, with a promise from the church. With a promise from the church. We would like to take our time beyond the border. Are there a national brigade fellowship? Are there? Are there a bit of a more than one one two? Nguangi Barut, Uyo Metropolitan Area Headquarters. And I'm not on. Not going to stay here to raise money. I'm going to meet members of this church one by one and get a set of band and some wind instruments for this fellowship. We're not going to do it now because it's the one. But this church, we'll get a set of band and some wind instruments for this Not today, not now. We will get a set of band, a set of equipment. Could I might say me I'm poor? You they say, Emma. But let's just, let's not waste the time to do it now because the time is against us. The roof of our church, one one two, Wangi Barut. I am not brigade fellowship. Any set of instruments. But I am not going to offer as one one two. I am not. I am not going to make my card. Who me and this one? Me and them are the one one. Thank you very much. Who offer me a room again for my camisole? Please help me run into the second part of this program as we are made to understand that Christian parents like to thank God for his gift of them of a child. Christian parents have acknowledged that they and their child belong to the Lord. They gladly be bring the child before the Lord that he be dedicated before the Lord. You know, our Christian parents recognize their duty to bring up their children in the fear and instruction of the Lord. By coming with their child into the house of God, they fully accept this duty and seek the prayers of their fellow believers that they may be able faithfully to fulfill it. It is now time to stand. So stand this way. Back will you come, Makara. Yogi Bangi says, I stand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our, our brother and our sister, 
We are happy to share your joy in the survival of this child and join with you in giving thanks to God. We believe too that you desire that the child grows up to love and save the Lord Jesus Christ and that today you are publicly declaring that you want the child to belong to the Lord all the days of his life. Doing something else which will punish most of us. So where is Christianity tomorrow? We will be uh, we, Nigeria cannot be like talking. Where Christianity will become history and Islamic oppressions will become the order of the day. Whereas we are using our own hands to destroy the Christian faith in the name of whatever you want to call it. I don't want you to say. Then, when you pamper and over pamper, you kill him before his time. You are Eto, a yiri para, ano instruction, a mi a nye ke to, mana fosu kwa me se ke fe to me, a kwa ngampa. You won't kill him, but you will discipline and instruct him in the ways of the Lord. You would have loved to read Deuteronomy chapter 6, oh, here, O oh Israel, but for want of time. Tell us today, before this congregation, do you now confess? You have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as your own personal Savior? Yes, we do. Madam, I confess. Yes, we do. Who told you about Amen! Do you now promise that as far as you are able, you will seek to bring up this child to reverence and to fear the Lord, and to lead him or her, to lead him to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation? Yes, we do. The achievements you could not, the failures you made. That's what I'm The things you could not, you are going to pray that he will be able to do it. The failures you made, he will never meet it. The successes you had, he will have more. The ones you desired you could have and you could not, he will. Same time, you are He will be envied by many. He will be looked upon by his generation. Lift up your voice and talk to God in prayers. Don't be jealous. Talk to God about the child. Don't be envious.
church for this baby. Lord, please, from infant, let grace see him true. Amen. Where others stumble and fall, he shall step and fly. Amen. When others lament and cry because of the casting down, he shall jubilate because he's lifted and lifted indeed. Amen. Not just pretending. When others lament because of the situation, he shall smile for it is well indeed. Amen. You know that pass over for it is well. I mean, well indeed. Amen. Me boy, you know me in the Jesus. He shall not go through any other form of initiation. Amen. It again all we put. It again all we put. It again all we put. Even if it travels, you as a mark of your young 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 mysterious. Amen. To a number of my very way feeling, you know, good. Amen. I as the apple of your eye, I pray you guard and be jealous over him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When he shall leave for school, whether from creche or pre nursery, nursery, primary, your grace and mercy shall see him through. He shall be outstanding, positively outstanding. Amen. In all that best could describe. When the best of the best are being selected. He shall be the best of the best of the best. Amen. Now forget young Daniel. Supernatural intelligence. Excellence beyond the ordinary. That's our prayer for this child. Amen. Oh, Abasi. After you turn your back, turn right. We pray, O oh God, this one shall come to make Nigeria strong, Amen. and Nigeria shall be outstanding in their generation. Amen. For they shall invent and invent and invent and invent. Amen. Formulas the world have never known. In this his small head, you shall enlarge the brain inside. Amen. As never before, the world shall seek to go after his lights. Amen. Jesus, if you to the rapture of the world, he shall live into a good old age. Amen. Ya no item meta ko se ka no ka fo ko se mo pe man tan. Amen. Ya di o item meta ka ken taga yenem. Amen. You've blessed them already, but they will get to where they would have not been to because of this child. Amen. Father, we pray that you bless the family. Amen. You bless this church because of this child. Amen. And so we pray Brian Akani and Nelson. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Amen. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you. Amen. And grant you may his peace and favor. Amen. Now and forevermore. Amen. This is a certificate of child education that Mr. Brian Akarai Nelson was educated to the Lord at Kwaibu Church, a word offered today, 20, 